there, this is MP Lum from TeamMP.net, the gaming group for parents. So today I'm bringing you a team deathmatch on Ambush. I'm trying to adjust to playing in full screen. Um, now this is not easy. I decided to use the M16 with ACOG, um, for one, to get better at using it, and for two, to show you how much of the screen the scopes uh, take up in full screen. So this game was from yesterday. Um, I was Skyping with IHP and Obi while playing this. Um, this was actually the first time I played with IHP in months, so it was great to both play and Skype with IHP. Um, now this is a long game. Normally I edit out a lot of things in my videos. Um, I do this for a few reasons. A big reason is that I have kids. Um, I have to get the baby, I have to change diapers, I have to wipe butts, I have to get kids drinks or help the kids with um, the computer if they're playing on the computer or whatever else they're doing. And I don't want you to have to watch me spinning around or just sitting there. Um, this is also the other reason why you may see my controller jerk up from time to time. You think, God, what is she doing? <laughs> uh, I'm most likely get grabbing the baby or he may be, um, usually he's playing on the floor right by me and he crawls around now. So when he, he's trying to leave the room or trying to grab something, I have to get the baby. Um, sometimes he's sitting on my lap and he likes to help me aim. <laughs> so yeah, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Anyway, I love that my fellow MPs understand all of this, because this is uh, just how it is when you're a parent. Um, a lot of parents play after their kids go to bed. Um, because I have a baby and I have to get up with him in the night, I am so tired by the time my kids go to bed that I would be terrible if I even tried to play. So usually after the kids go to bed, I just spend time with my husband. So um, I usually try to play in the afternoon. Um, I. I try to get the kids to nap during that time, but it doesn't always happen. So um, that's why I edit out a lot of stuff. Um, another main reason why I edit out a lot is that the video is just too long. Um, I don't have a lot of time to sit and watch videos. Um, I love watching other people's videos, but I may not be able to focus on a longer video like I want to. So I try to shorten mine thinking that others are likely the same way. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think about this. I know I've... Um, seen some comments added on my videos that are like the first so-and-so seconds are missing did you edit them out and my answer is oh no they must have gotten lost in transit uh, of course I edit them out silly <laughs> now the last reason is um, I'll edit stuff out if it's just boring um, seriously sometimes I'm running around on the wrong side of the map and I can't find anyone um, I'm sure you all don't want to watch that stuff <laughs> so I cut it out when it happens um, I think it's worse in hardcore generally just because it's such a slower pace and you're waiting around for people more. Um, and it happens sometimes in regular team deathmatch while I'm playing with a whole team of MPs because my teammates are wiping out all the other players and I can't find any. So those are the main reasons why I um, edit stuff out in my videos. I just wanted to answer that for people that were asking about that. Um, this one I didn't edit out, so like I said, it's a longer video, but I wanted you guys to see how it is in full screen, I'm trying to get used to playing it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It does look strange, and it's it's really strange because you can't, um, you, you don't have much of a field of view, so like I don't see someone until they're shooting at me, and then I'm like, oh, there's somebody right there. So it's definitely taking some getting used to. Um, now in this game, I get an airstrike. And then I get a chopper, so I was excited because um, I had just switched to the M16 in the game before this, but I hadn't switched it to uh, with stopping power because the last time I played with it, I was using it in hardcore. So I had UAV jammer on, so I did terrible the first game that I switched to the M16 because <laughs> I didn't have stopping power and everyone had jug Juggernaut, and I was like trying to kill them, getting hit markers, but I was dying really quickly before I could kill people. So, this game I finally turned on stopping power and I did much better for it. So, <laughs> we'll see how it is in Black Ops without stopping power. I guess we'll get used to it, huh? So here I switched to the pistol and <laughs> that's really funny. Um, I was talking to IHP and I was like, well at least he didn't uh, get my chopper with that. But then they get my chopper right here anyway. <laughs> so right as I was saying that, it's like, oh, sometimes you should just not say stuff like that. <laughs> so 
So, wow, I made it to five minutes of talking. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how all of um, you that do longer commentaries do that because I always run out of stuff to say. I'm just, I'm a very quiet person. So, um, even on Skype, um, it takes me a while to, to talk more. I've gotten more comfortable with the people that um, I talk to and all of the MPs, of course, but uh, with newer people, I'm definitely more quiet. Uh, it takes me a while to warm up to people. So... It's hard for me to do commentaries because I run out of things to say. Uh, I guess I could tell you about my kids because, you know, we are a parenting group. And lately my kids are really big into knock-knock jokes. Um, I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old and a nine-month-old, and they're all boys. <laughs> and so they really think that... Um, pee in your pants is really funny. So all their knock-knock jokes are like, knock-knock, who's there? And they'll say, cat! And they'll say, cat who? Cat's peeing his pants! And they're just laughing hysterically about it. So I really hope my six-year-old isn't doing that in, at school in first grade. I'm like, oh, please, please don't be saying those jokes to your friends in school. Their parents are going to say, you can't hang out with that kid anymore. <laughs> so we're always talking to him, no, you got to stop with that. But they just find it so hilarious. So we're constantly getting bombarded with um, these silly knock-knock jokes. Although, uh, my three-year-old did make up a good one the other day. He was saying, knock-knock, um, who's there? Snake! Snake who? Snake right behind you! So that, that was kind of <laughs> good for a three-year-old to uh, make up anyway. <laughs> so that's my latest in uh, being a mom to three boys. It's quite funny. <laughs> So my six-year-old just heard me talking about this. Now he wants to tell me a knock-knock joke, so I'll let you guys hear it too. Hey, no Who's there? Skunk who? Skunk in your pants. <laughs> okay. Yep, see what I mean? Uh, now it's a skunk. <laughs> but, okay, you, okay, go. Who's there? Who? Snake right there! What's he doing right there? Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, my six year old and three year old. I don't know how well um, they came through. But um, I guess I'll listen to that in a minute and find out. Yeah. You gotta speak up. You gotta talk loud. Oh, that's enough of that. That's oh, enough of that. No, that's enough of that, mister. Um, because I like it? You like my movies? You like... <laughs> <laughs> what, what games do you like to play? You gotta, you gotta talk louder. Wow. Do you like playing real baseball? Yep. Yep. Yeah, we just signed up our two um, boys for baseball, so... <laughs> We have practice twice a week, and our first game is next is Saturday, so kind of excited about that. Um, it's really nice this time of year where we live, so it's when you really want to get outside. So I haven't been playing as much because of that, but I'm sure once I get a new game, we're getting both Black Ops and um, Goldeneye. My husband really wants Goldeneye because he likes the first one a lot, so. I'm gonna give that one a go to. I've never, I never played the first one, so I plan to do some videos for both Black Ops and Goldeneye. Um, so we'll see how I, how I do, starting out. Um, it'll be nice to sort of see the progression in that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and um, yeah, you got to hear my kids here. My six-year-old's home from school this week. They have a fall break, so um, I hope you guys all have a nice day. And uh, thanks again for watching. Bye bye.